Gracious and loving God, we come before you with hearts open to receive your word and your guidance. As we reflect on the gospel passage from John chapter 10 verse 11 to 18, may your spirit enlighten our minds and nourish our souls with the truth of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Good Shepherd. In his name, we pray. Amen. Our reading for today from the Gospel of John chapter 10 verse 11 to 18. I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the Good Shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice, and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. The reason my Father loves me is that I lay down my life, only to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again. This command I received from my Father. In this passage, Jesus identifies himself as the Good Shepherd who lays down his life for his sheep. He contrasts himself with hired hands who lack genuine care for the sheep and are willing to flee in the face of danger. Jesus emphasizes his intimate relationship with his sheep, knowing them individually and being known by them. He speaks of his mission to bring together all his sheep into one flock under one shepherd, and he declares his authority to lay down his life and take it up again, as commanded by the Father. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Good Shepherd. We praise you for his sacrificial love and his willingness to lay down his life for us. His sheep, help us to recognize his voice and to follow him faithfully. Amen.